Well, new at 6.30 tonight, Brian Atkinson is behind bars on rape, assault, and burglary charges. Columbia police say Atkinson broke into a home last Saturday, assaulting and raping the woman who lived there. It happened on Lovejoy Lane around 5 o'clock in the morning. Police say the victim knows Lovejoy. Atkinson is, or knows Atkinson. He is in the Boone County Jail on a $50,000 bond. Well, a Columbia man is now jailed, accused of rape, assault, and burglary. Police tell us Brian Atkinson broke into a home last weekend. He is charged with assaulting and raping the woman who lived there. Atkinson is behind bars in Boone County on a $50,000 bond. Breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 5. Right now, Lake Area Police are pursuing a man wanted in a missing persons case. Last night, we told you cops were looking for Brian Atkinson about his possible involvement in a missing MU medical student. That woman had been found, and police look like they have spotted Atkinson as well. The pursuit has been going on for the last four hours and has picked up in the last 45 minutes. Police think they have narrowed down the area where he is. ABC 17's Daniel Wynn is on the scene in Morgan County. Daniel, what is the latest? Yeah, we are here at Highway 135 in Morgan County. The uh, pursuit, it all started this morning about, uh, this afternoon about 12 o'clock. They spotted him on Highway Double M in Sunrise Beach. He then led them into some lake roads. He lost them and then he stole a jet ski. Police believe he then took that jet ski and went pretty far west. That's where we are now. We're in Morgan County, just uh, near the Highway J-135 junction. Police have been going down this road just down here to my left here. Uh, if we can pan over there, yeah, it's down. That's Highway J. That goes toward the lake. Several police officers have been going that way. Now, they believe he is in the woods there. He is, uh, they have a full manhunt on in that wooded area. Let me tell you a little bit about Brian Atkinson from this weekend. He apparently, uh, police believe he kidnapped his ex-girlfriend, Laura Crawford, 23-year-old Laura Crawford, and then dropped her off at University Hospital. That is uh, when police started looking for him. He was uh, then spotted, like I said, here just a couple of hours ago. The police uh, search really picked up just a few minutes ago. And uh, we'll, of course, have more coming up at 6, and hopefully we'll know a little bit more by then. Reporting live in Morgan County, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Daniel. And we continue to follow even more breaking news tonight as a kidnapping suspect remains on the loose at the Lake of the Ozarks. Authorities are still searching for Brian Atkinson, who's believed to have kidnapped his ex-girlfriend over the weekend. We told you last night the woman, Lauren Crawford, went missing Saturday night. She was found Sunday at University Hospital and has since been released. We told you in May, Atkinson was arrested on charges of rape and first-degree burglary here in Columbia. The search for him has been ongoing for hours, and ABC 17's Daniel Wynn is on the scene. Daniel, what have you learned in the past hour? Well, Ryan, we are here in Ivy Bend, just about uh, a couple of miles north of Ivy Bend, south of Stover. The authorities have a checkpoint set up behind me. You can see the Highway Patrol, Morgan County Sheriff's Department, the Conservation Department, and uh, Camden County Sheriff's Department. They're all on the scene here. The Highway Patrol helicopter, we have some video from earlier today, just a couple of minutes ago, actually. They are buzzing around still over here behind me. Now, Brian Atkinson was first spotted this morning around Sunrise Beach on Highway Double M. That's when Sunrise Beach police officers chased him. Chased, uh, Sunrise Beach police officers chased him into a wooded area. He then stole a jet ski and then led police on a chase throughout the... That's when the Highway Patrol helicopter chased him over here to I Bend. Since the police have been using the helicopter to try and find him. And authorities, of course, are still on scene and will bring you the latest when we know more. Reporting live in Ivy Bend, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. Well, right now, the community of Ivy Bend is on edge as authorities look for an accused kidnapper and rapist. Over the weekend, police believe Brian Atkinson kidnapped his girlfriend, 23-year-old Laura Crawford, then dropped her off at University Hospital Sunday morning. ABC 17's Daniel Wynn has been following this manhunt all day long. He's joining us live from Morgan County. And Daniel, we understand the search is going to go strong into the night. Yeah, still several dozen police officers there in Ivy Bend tonight. When we left that area, they were still going door to door, letting residents know what exactly is going on 
in that neighborhood. Now, going north on the highway out of Ivy Bend, there is still a checkpoint set up. We heard there were two arrests made there about 30 minutes ago. It turns out those were DWI arrests. They have nothing to do with the ongoing manhunt. New tonight, though, we have learned that the suspect was injured over the weekend by one of his victims. He was apparently stabbed. That is not confirmed, but we have sources telling us that. Now, police stopped Atkinson this afternoon, early this afternoon, in Sunrise Beach off of Highway Double M near Highway TT. That's when the Highway Patrol helicopter was called out. He abandoned the truck he was in and jumped into a jet ski and headed to the Ivy Bend area from the Sunrise Beach area. Now, we talked to a woman this evening who tells us the suspect drove that jet ski right up to her marina, had some very scary moments for somebody down here. So I came back, he showed me a picture, so I came back and I told one of our employees about what he looked like and she said that he had drove through here with a jet ski and just turned around and, and left and apparently afterwards, you know, he banked it right around the corner somewhere. Now, some more residents I talked to tonight fear that uh, Atkinson might be hiding out in a nearby vacation home. They say there are a lot of houses down there that are abandoned and uh, vacationers just only come in on the weekends. Atkinson is thought to be very dangerous and possibly armed. So if you see him, you're urged to call 911 immediately. Live in Morgan County, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Daniel. Man suspected of kidnapping an MU med student is still on the loose tonight. Police believe Brian Atkinson kidnapped his ex-girlfriend Lauren Crawford last Saturday and has been on the run since he allegedly dropped her off at University Hospital Sunday. Authorities tell us there has been three possible sightings of Atkinson today and for sales, Ivy Bend and near Rocky Mount. Deputies say that they are following up on every lead. Atkinson is believed to be armed. Breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 6.30. We've just learned that the search for a kidnapping suspect is, again, very active. Here is what we know right now. We got a tip into our newsroom. The deputies on the Highway Patrol are actively searching again for Brian Atkinson. We've learned it's around the Lori area, which is in Morgan County. We've been telling you Atkinson's accused of kidnapping his ex-girlfriend over the weekend and has been on the run ever since. We will stay with this story and bring you updates as soon as we get them. Breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 10. SWAT teams from around mid-Missouri are out in force right now at the Lake of the Ozarks looking for a suspected kidnapper. For the last four days, deputies and police have been looking for Brian Atkinson. Atkinson allegedly kidnapped his ex-girlfriend last Saturday, then dropped her off at University Hospital Sunday. He's been able to get away from police numerous times since then. Well, right now, SWAT teams from the Highway Patrol, Camden and Morgan counties are in about, they're about 10 miles north and about five miles west of Ivy Bend in Morgan County. Many of them are on the water looking for Atkinson. ABC 17's Daniel Wynn has been covering this story all week for us. He joins us now and Daniel, the current chase started at about three o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, Ryan, let me get to that in just a minute. I just learned since our 9 o'clock show that the perimeter that they are searching has expanded. You can see behind me now, this is a checkpoint on Ivy Bend Road. They just set that up just within the past 5 or 10 minutes, so that means they are not having any luck finding Atkinson in the woods. Now, it all started about 3 o'clock this afternoon on Browns Bend. That's just west of uh, Ivy Bend on Lake of the Ozarks. It's in Camden County. An officer, a deputy, was called to the scene there in Browns bend and as he was going around the back of the house he saw a door kicked in as he saw that door about the same time he saw a ski boat leaving the dock of that home a highway patrol officer was already in a highway patrol boat on the lake he saw it too they saw Atkinson go to the north side, the Morgan County side of the lake, and just run into the woods. That's when this massive manhunt got underway. I, like, I, like Ryan said, there are three different SWAT teams here in uh, Ivy Bend right now from Morgan County, Benton County, and the Highway Patrol. Troops A and F are involved in this chase, and they are going to have a very, very long night ahead. The Highway Patrol helicopter was out a little earlier this afternoon, but I'm told the fleet here. The thermal imaging device that it uses to see heat, heat uh, and bodies in the woods, it is broken tonight. So the police are kind of going up against some, uh, some problems there. But they are using dogs as well in the woods. The SWAT teams are in full SWAT gear, and they are searching the woods tonight in the dark with those dogs. 
Reporting live in Ivy Bend, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. All right. Thanks a lot, Daniel. And we've got another update on a story that we have been reporting on since Sunday. The FBI is now involved in the search for Brian Atkinson. We first told you on Sunday police were looking for Atkinson after kidnapping his ex-girlfriend here in Columbia. Atkinson is wanting on kidnapping, forcible rape, and sexual assault charges. Now, multiple county agencies, along with the Highway Patrol, have been focusing their search near Ivy Bend in Morgan County. ABC 17's Daniel Wynn joins us now live from Versailles tonight, where law enforcement just held a news conference to update the search. Daniel, what do you know now? Well, the FBI is now involved in the investigation as well as the U.S. Marshal Task Force out of Camden County. They are also on the scene. Now, the FBI is not actually on the scene. They're helping more behind the scenes, gathering intelligence and finding out more about Atkinson and possibly why he might be at the lake. And his whereabouts to this point are still unknown. Last night, police... Uh, highway Patrol and county deputies uh, swarmed an area around Little Buffalo Cove near Clearwater Road and Little Buffalo Road just off of Ivy Bend Road. That's just about 10 miles northwest of Ivy Bend. Now, they went through the woods overnight. They were looking for Ankison with canines. They used a helicopter, and uh, they have not found him to this point. They have roadblocks still set up throughout the area. Now, Captain Paul Reinch with the Highway Patrol, we were just speaking to him a short time ago and he was asked uh, about uh, several questions. Here's what he had to say. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're going residence to residence, building to building. Uh, we have canines in the area that are searching the, the outlying areas. Uh, it's very heavily wooded. Uh, it's very steep. Uh, there's not a whole lot of roads in that area, so we're searching it as quickly as we can. I talked to one resident who lives near the search area. He said there are areas out there that uh, houses are off the road by about two miles. He said there are caves. There are thousands, literally thousands of places Atkinson could be hiding in that area right now. So it could take quite some time for the highway patrol and those SWAT teams to even make a dent in that large amount of acreage. Reporting live in Morgan County, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. All right. Thank you, Daniel. We will stick with this story. A suspected kidnapper who's been on the loose since Sunday remains on the run tonight, and now the FBI is involved. Good evening, I'm Ryan Tate. Stephanie has the night off. A news conference wrapped up a little more than an hour ago in Versailles near the lake, where police updated the manhunt for Brian Atkinson. ABC 17's Daniel Wynn is now in Ivy Bend and joins us live with the latest developments. Daniel? Yeah, Ryan, there is no longer a checkpoint set up here on Ivy Bend Road at Franklin Road. Just down Franklin Road, about uh, seven or eight miles away, that is the center point of this massive manhunt that's underway here in Morgan County. Now, I can tell you, just since we've been on the scene here, just in the past five or ten minutes, we've already seen about three highway patrol cars pass us. Now, at a press conference this afternoon in Morgan County, authorities told us the FBI has joined the investigation. They are aiding in the investigation, but they are not physically here on the ground yet a deputy u.s marshal task force is here on the ground in morgan county aiding in the investigation now swat teams from the highway patrol morgan county they are still searching this wooded area you see here behind me for brian atkinson sergeant paul reinch with the highway patrol had a message for the man they're hunting for brian atkinson just a short while ago uh, he, he needs to turn himself in and, and 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 we need to talk to him about what's occurred and if he could just come forward and do that, that uh, we would appreciate that, and that'll go a long way to uh, ending this. Now, authorities have been searching all night long and all day today. This afternoon, they did switch out SWAT team members because they needed a break. They say they are in for a very long night ahead again. Reporting live in Morgan County, Daniel Wynn, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks a lot, Daniel, and we will, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you the latest not only right here on ABC 17 News, but also abc17news.com. Breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 5. The manhunt is over for a suspected kidnapper and rapist. Authorities caught Brian Atkinson after responding to a call of a burglary in progress on Proctor Road in Morgan County. ABC 17 Sherry Burris is live tonight in Morgan County at the Sheriff's Department with new details on the arrest. Sherry. Sherry. 
That's right, guys. I'm here at the Morgan County Sheriff Department, and that week-long manhunt is over. Brian Atkinson is in police custody tonight after being caught around 3 p.m. when they responded to a burglary. Atkinson is wanted for kidnapping his ex-girlfriend and for sexual assault in Boone County. He led the police on a manhunt throughout the Lake of the Ozarks all this week. Police are holding a press conference at 6 o'clock. We'll be there live tonight following the story for you. Reporting live in Morgan County, I'm Sherry Burris, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks a lot, Sherry. We also have more late-breaking developments near the Lake of the Ozarks. After the search for an alleged kidnapper and rapist finally comes to an end, the manhunt for Brian Atkinson started earlier this week after several sightings in Morgan County. He's wanted for allegedly taking an MU student against her will. Well, she went missing last Friday and then turned up on Sunday at the hospital. But Atkinson remained on the loose. Now, we were there when both the FBI and U.S. Marshals got involved. And then this afternoon, we learned that Atkinson was taken into custody somewhere off of Proctor Road. The authorities are just beginning a news conference with more details about his capture. That news conference is underway right now. We'll go out there live. Different departments, three different SWAT teams, helicopters, dogs, and uh, unfortunately, he got out of our perimeter somehow. Um, I talked to Mr. Atchison on the way to the jail, and he stated that he ran from that residence to the one that I found him in um, that night. That's roughly four miles as the crow flies through the woods. Um, he was he was out of the boat at around the 68 mile marker and was found roughly in the 40 mile marker area. So if you go by water, he that's 28 miles. So um, I will start taking questions because I'm pretty sure I didn't answer them all. You said it was a residential burglary call. Was it was the resident in the inside or were they outside when they called you? Um, the residence is, was actually just purchased by some people who live in the Ivy Bend area. They're fixing it up as a rental home. Uh, the female owner arrived at the house to do some work to it, noticed the window broke out, called her husband, husband called us. I went there to investigate the burglary and encountered Mr. Etchison. So what are the charges? Charges of burglary, second degree, felony, and his bond is no bond. You are watching a news conference going on right now in Versailles, where the chief deputy there in Morgan County is talking about the arrest of Brian Atkinson. It happened earlier this afternoon after a burglary attempt. Police were called out to the scene of a possible burglary. When they got there, they found Atkinson. We have a reporter on the scene, ABC 17, Sherry Burris. When we get some more details from this news conference, obviously, we will pass them along to you. Well, after nearly a week on the run, Brian Atkinson is finally behind bars tonight. And just in the last 30 minutes, we've learned more details from authorities about his arrest. Morgan County deputies found him after they responded to a burglary attempt in the Proctor area. Atkinson is a suspected kidnapper and rapist who got away from police numerous times this week. ABC 17 Sherry Burris is live in Morgan County tonight where a news conference just wrapped up. And Sherry, what, could you, what can you tell us? You guys, I just learned that it was Lieutenant Mike Neenhouse that found Brian Atkinson hiding in an empty home that was being renovated. He is being charged with burglary and a second degree, which is a Class C felony, and has no bond. There was 150 officers and nearly 20 agencies that knocked and checked nearly 1,000 homes looking for Brian Atkinson. Once he was found, he was asked not to be shot and complied with the police officer who found him. He did say that he was actually happy to be found and was trying to find a way to turn himself in. And that um, he was asked, and that he complied with authorities, and now is in the Morgan County Jail. We'll be giving you updates all night live in Morgan County. I'm Sherry Burris, ABC 17 News. We also have an update to breaking news that we have been following all week. The suspected kidnapper and rapist who has sent multiple law enforcement agencies on a manhunt all week is behind bars tonight. Brian Atkinson was caught during a burglary call. ABC 17 Sherry Burris is in Morgan County. She's joining us live. And Sherry, it seems relief can describe both Atkinson and the community's reaction to him being caught. Meredith, the hunt for Brian Atkinson did end today round three, but not during a search for Atkinson. Instead, it was a burglary call. A lieutenant from the Morgan County Sheriff's Department found Atkinson hiding in an empty home, wearing nothing but his flip-flops and shorts. 
Um, I think uh, he was as excited as I was to find him. Um, I ordered him down to the ground. He, he said, please don't shoot me. I cuffed him right up and took him out of the house. We've been telling you Atkinson has been on the run, accused of kidnapping his ex-girlfriend and sexual assault in Boone County. Over the last week, multiple county agencies, the Highway Patrol, FBI, and U.S. Marshals, roughly 150 officials have been on the lookout for Atkinson. Right now, Atkinson is only being charged with burglary in the second degree with no bond set here in Morgan County. Authorities are thankful to have him finally in custody, and so are residents. I spoke with multiple residents who live near the areas Atkinson was believed to be hiding in. They tell me it was a scary feeling and nerve-wracking. One woman's mother reported to, reported to do extreme measures to assure her personal safety. Hesitant during the day. My 83-year-old mother-in-law lives next door. My mom lives next door. And she went to bed with a butcher knife. And, you know, you're afraid to leave. It's a relief. You know, it's it's good. I'm glad that they caught him. And, and you know, I'm sure justice will be done. But it just takes a load off of everybody else. You know? Atkinson is currently being held in the Morgan County Jail. Live in Morgan County, I'm Sherry Burris, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Sherry. We are going to continue to follow this case. We have learned he could be in court as early as Monday, but multiple counties do want him for possible charges. Parents of a Columbia woman look for some help in finding a man who escaped from jail after being charged with the rape and kidnapping of their daughter. Good evening. I'm Ryan Tate. And I'm Stephanie Schaefer. Brian Atkinson escaped from jail about two weeks ago in Kingston. And that's in Caldwell County. Police have no solid leads on where Agson is located and are asking for your help. ABC 17 Sherry Burris was at the news conference today in Kingston. And Sherry, what did Lauren Crawford's parents and police have to say about this search? Stephanie, it was around 3.30 here. The parents and the local law enforcement in Caldwell County asked for everyone to keep their eyes and ears open. The parents of the victim said that they wanted everyone to be able to check their houses, lake houses, if they have any hunting posts even, because as they saw from when Atkinson was hiding the first time at the lake, he was able to use his resources and find different houses to stay at. Police don't really have much of a lead of where he is, but they do have multiple agencies looking for Atkinson, and that is why they're saying he may be dangerous so if you do see him please call police local law enforcement be careful that he may be dangerous live in caldwell county i'm sherry burris abc 17 news all right thank you sherry in abc 17 news alert tonight at five a suspect wanted for rape and kidnapping on the run for three weeks is caught it ends the second manhunt for brian atkinson he's picked up just afternoon at a nursing home in west lake ohio which is just minutes west of cleveland now we broke the story for you an hour later on abc 17 news.com evan millward has been following the search in northern ohio since atkinson was spotted yesterday Evan, police say he's refusing to cooperate. Yeah, Stephanie and Ryan, police in Westlake, Ohio, say Atkinson won't even let them take his mugshot. Still now, nearly five hours after he was taken into custody. This all happened after someone recognized him riding a bike in Westlake. It's not far from where he was spotted early yesterday morning before leading several authorities on a chase and ultimately getting away from that one, too. Today, Atkinson took off into a nursing home where he wrestled with officers and the home's administrator before being led away in cuffs. Now charges in Ohio, that would be in Cuyahoga County, may still come down this week against Atkinson. We're also still working to figure out if there could be any charges in West Virginia where he allegedly stole a truck or in Pennsylvania where he's accused of stealing license plates. And we first showed you this map yesterday helping us piece together Atkinson's path since he broke out of the Caldwell County Jail near St. Joseph a month ago, guys. All right, Evan, do you know anything about when he might be brought back to Missouri now? Uh, we've reached out to the Missouri governor, Ohio's governor. They have not talked yet. Uh, and the authorities in all of the counties involved, because this does involve multiple counties, Boone, Caldwell, and now Cuyahoga in Ohio, they uh, all kind of say they are going to bring him back to Missouri. It's not a matter of if. It is now a matter of when. All right. Thanks a lot, Evan. And we are still following up on some updates, working to get reaction from Caldwell County. We'll have more at the top of the hour, and we've got full coverage always on our website, abc17news.com. 
Team coverage on ABC 17 News tonight at 6. As we continue to learn more about the capture of Brian Atkinson in Ohio just hours ago, it's a story ABC 17 News broke this afternoon online. Atkinson is wanted after breaking out of jail where he was being held on kidnapping charges. He's also accused of rape in Boone County. New at 6, we're hearing from the family of Atkinson's alleged victim in Caldwell County. Sherry Burris is live there, but first, what's next for Atkinson, who is in custody just west of Cleveland in Ohio tonight. ABC 17's Evan Millward is live now at University Hospital in Columbia. That's where Atkinson's path of crime started in Boone County. And Evan, prosecutors here want him back as soon as possible. Yeah, the most serious charges in this spree are here in Boone County. Those are the charges of rape. Now, this all started in May when a North Columbia woman claimed Atkinson raped her in her home. Prosecutors here in Boone County say they will get Atkinson back to Missouri. It is not a matter of if, now it's just a matter of when. But Atkinson's path continued in June. That's when his girlfriend claimed she was she was kidnapped from her Caldwell County home and brought here to University Hospital. Now, Caldwell County authorities tell us tonight they are in contact with authorities in Ohio. They've also been in contact with that victim's family. I have, though, confirmed the two states' governors have not talked about extradition yet. Atkinson still refusing to cooperate with the Westlake, Ohio Police Department. Now, Atkinson was caught just after noon Eastern time in that town that is just west of Cleveland. Now, we told you at 5, he was riding a bike when someone recognized him from the news. He then ran into a nursing home and a, an administrator held him in a headlock until officers could arrive. Now, this is not all that far from where we reported yesterday that Adkison had led several law enforcement agencies on a multi-county chase after he was recognized in a parking lot of a hotel. He is also accused of stealing a truck from West Virginia and license plates from a township in Pennsylvania. It's not clear tonight whether any charges will be brought against him in either of those states or if Cuyahoga County authorities will charge him for anything that happened the past couple of days up in Westlake. Now, all of this has been developing quickly this afternoon. Word just got back to the alleged victim's family in Caldwell County. That's where ABC 17 Sherry Burris is now. Sherry, what are folks in that community talking about tonight? Evan, less than an hour ago, I did speak with John Crawford, who is uh, the victim's father. He is very appreciative of all the support within the community to help find Atkinson. Just a big thank you to all of the law enforcement, again, all of our community, all of the, the whole community. You know, so many people all over the country that were supporting us in this, supporting the law enforcement is just the, the support has just been amazing and overwhelming and we're very grateful. The Caldwell County Sheriff also told me that he feels much better knowing that Atkinson is back in custody. He did say that they are talking with other authorities that did help find Brian Atkinson are in contact with them before he comes back to Caldwell County. In the weeks leading up to after the escape of Atkinson, there were up to 15 different law enforcement agencies that were helping to find him here in Caldwell County. Around town, there is a buzz following the news of Atkinson's capture. I spoke with a few people around town who all didn't feel comfortable going on camera because they either knew one or both of the families. One woman I spoke with at a local gas station said he's a very smart kid, just didn't make very smart decisions. Another woman who knew both families says she, her heart goes out for both of them. Live in Caldwell County, I'm Sherry Burris, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Sherry. Now, the family was offering a reward of $3,000. They tell us they, are, they think they will be giving that to a Caldwell County women's shelter.